The platform, also known as a build plate, is what your 3D object will be built on. So it's important that you prepare it. Using platform tape protects the platform and helps the filament to adhere properly. The liner for the platform tape is perforated down the middle to make it easier to apply. Start by taking off the liner half without the notch. And line up the top half of the platform tape with the liner still on with the platform's notch. Rub the bottom half of the tape in place. You can use your hand or the spatula tool. But the most important thing is to make sure that there are no air bubbles or creases in the platform tape when it is applied to the platform. Then remove the other half of the liner and rub the remaining tape in place. Again, make sure there are no air bubbles or creases. If your platform tape is not lying completely flat against the platform, your 3D object won't print properly. After the tape is adhered, place the platform piece under the print nozzle with the tape side facing up. Make sure the notch of the platform lines up with the notch at the bottom of the machine. When your machine is done printing, wait a few minutes for the filament to cool completely. Then remove the platform from the inside of the printer. Take your spatula tool and gently slide the spatula under the object to remove it from the platform tape. If you damaged the platform tape at all when you removed your 3D object, you may need to replace it before you attempt to print something else. Most platform tape sheets will last for about 5 to 10 prints, but that number will vary based on your experience and the settings of each printed object.